All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yasha Allah, which are also the Israelites, which are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And I want to give up, I'm going to uh, say blessings unto you. I came out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth through the spirit and power and grace of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, as you see in the title, you know, we're, we're not justified by the law. All right. Now, the law was given. The law was broken. All right. Because. There, not just because there's so many laws, but and it was all part of prophecy. OK, it was all part of prophecy in order for us to be perfected, man. All right. So the next step is for us to be perfected. And the Lord sacrificed himself that what we may receive grace. OK, because the Lord had done away with us. He, he had gave us a bill of divorcement, as I tell you in Jeremiah. He said that we were not his people anymore. That's why you have Hosea, the first chapter, explaining that the same place where it was said unto us that we wasn't his people, the same place we was going to be known as the sons of the living power. All right. So we lost our heritage and then we got it back through grace. OK. Now, even though the Lord sacrificed himself thousands of years ago. It's, it's still a time thing, you know, it's still a, a prophecy. It's still a, all about due time. All right. The time that the most high want things to come to pass. OK, so the act that he did 2000 years ago, it never went away. <laughs> you know, it was it was it, it was still there until the right time, which was when we started getting our heritage back, you know, 50 to 60 years ago. All right. So um, I want to start. I'm going to start in the 17th verse. Now, dealing with this situation, you had. A, uh, uh, and I don't want to get into the whole Jew and Gentile thing. So you had a sect of Israelites who was dealing with the, another sect of Israelites. All right. And when. They pretty much started acting funny. All right. Well, I, I, to so you don't get confused, I'll go ahead and say. So you had the Jews who were pretty much Israelites who knew that they were Israelites. They grew up, you know, in the customs and things. All right. Keeping the laws to the, you know, keeping the laws. And then you had the Jis, uh, the Gentiles who were Israelites, foreigners. Right. They grew up keeping the custom of the heathen. All right. But they were still Israelites. OK. And being that they were still Israelites, they would still be able to receive the uh, the spirit of the most high, man. They will still be able to be quickened from the, uh, that dead state of mind, so to speak, just as we were here in America. Right. We received the spirit of Yahweh and that allowed us to be quickened and be made alive. OK. That gave us what? A chance of salvation. All right, because salvation only pertains to the to the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. OK, so dealing with this, you had some of the Jews who would eat with the Gentiles. But then when a certain group of Jews came around, they didn't want to eat with the Gentiles. And then Paul came up to correct them. OK, and, and this was this is what was said. So this is Galatians 2 and 17. It says, but if while we seek to be justified by Hamashiach. Uh, I'll, I'll go up to 16. OK, it says knowing that a man is not. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Even we have believed in Yahweh Shai Mashiach that we might be justified by the faith of Hamashiach and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Call all Yahweh Hashem Shai. Because I actually read that earlier and wanted to start there. Um, so like, it's, and, and it says it clear and plain. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. All right. It says, but if while we seek to be justified by Hamashiach, we ourselves also are found sinners. 
is therefore Hamashiach, the minister of sin, the most high forbid, right? For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor, right? So what I want to do is get this commentary on this, okay? So um, this is the study guy of Galatians 2 from David uh, Gusick, right? And it says, uh, it says, Paul answers the main objection again, uh, Salakia, against the truth that we are made right before the Most High by faith in Yahawashai and not by works of the law, right? And I'm going to start at point A. It says, uh, but if while we seek to be justified by Hamashiach, we ourselves also are found sin uh, sinners. Is Hamashiach therefore a minister of sin? Now, Paul dealt with an objection that the certain men from James would raise. It's important to remember that Paul made this statement publicly with the concerned parties right in front of him. On uh, on one side of the room were the certain men from James who believed that the Most High would not accept the Gentiles unless they put themselves under the law of Moses. Peter sat with these men and so did Barnabas, who was Paul's best friend. In fact, all the Christians of Jewish background sat with these Christians from Jerusalem who didn't believe that the Gentiles in the church at Antioch were really saved at all. In a real life setting like this, Paul couldn't just speak his mind without answering the objections spoken or spoken or unspoken of those who disregard uh, Salakia disagree with him. Right. And it, 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 that's it, that's kind of how what the Lord would do when, you know, he would hear, the, you know, hear their thoughts or hear them murmuring and things. He would just he would bring out a parable or bring. So it's like, OK, now what you going to do? All right. And and that that just because hey you can find excuse upon excuse upon excuse to to be justified in your means, okay. It says as the men from Jerusalem saw it, the idea that we are made right before the Most High by faith in Yahweh Shai alone wasn't real enough. After all, Christians still struggle with sin. How could they have the accepted by Most High? issue uh, issue settle if the if they still battle sin and they're thinking this made Hamashiach a minister of sin because Yahawashai work of making them right with the most high apparently didn't make them right enough if the most high justifies bad people what is the point of being good can't we do as we like and live as we please certainly not Paul's answer was brilliant. First, yes, we seek to be justified by Hamashiach and not by Yahawashai plus our own works. Second, yes, we ourselves also are found sinners. That is, we acknowledge that we still sin even though we stand justified by Hamashiach. But no, this certainly does not make Yahawashai the author or approver of sin in our life. He is not the minister of sin. OK, to give a short definition of a Christian, a Christian is not somebody who has no who uh, who has no sin, but somebody against whom the most high no longer chalks sin because of his faith in Hamashiach. This doctrine brings comfort to the consciences in serious trouble because you are not perfect. It, it's just like Paul spoke about in Romans, the seventh chapter, the things that he want to do, he can't do, you know, as an entirety. Uh, OK. Because of the flesh, because we are still stuck in this flesh and dealing with the fact that the new covenant, all right, will be the laws written within our inward part will, which will allow us to be perfect and not sin. All right. That, that's part. That's why we are stuck in this flesh, man. Striving to be perfect. OK. Rehearsing the righteous acts. So. Showing the Lord, hey, look, hey, I know I messed up. You, you know, you repent and then you, you try your best to keep pushing, man. All right. Because if you try to deal with the you can't keep the law in this society. All right. They couldn't they, they couldn't even keep the law as an entire back then, man, let alone us who who are living in the last days. OK. It says, uh, for if I build again those things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. Paul's answer was subtle and brilliant. 
If he were to build again a way to the most high through keeping the law of Moses, then he would make himself a transgressor. Essentially, Paul said there is there is more sin in trying to find acceptance before the most high by our law keeping than than there is in sin every day life as a Christian. You know, and this not speaking, of course, about the the um, denomination of Christ, uh, Christianity, man. OK, the Christians were pretty much the Israelites, the anointed ones. All right. It says. Uh, uh, I think that that. Nah, I got to get that part. I have to get that part. It says these certain men from James thought that they had to hang on to the law, which you have certain Israelite groups that feel as such today for themselves and for Gentiles. So there wouldn't be so much sin. What Paul shows is that by putting themselves under the law again, they were sinning worse than ever. How is it? How is it a sin? And that's why the scriptures. Uh, let me see. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 17. It's my lit up. <laughs> it says, um, I'm going to start at 16. It says, be not righteous over much, neither making thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? So that's the balance in living in this society and, and, and you know, seeking salvation. Don't be over righteous, but don't be wicked over much. You know, don't try to keep the whole law, but then don't use the the fact that you can't keep the whole law as an, a, a cloak of maliciousness. All right. As an excuse to break the law and do what you want. It don't work like that. All right. I'm going to jump back. It's Galatians. All right. So it says, um, yeah, yeah, it says, how is it? Uh, how how is it a sin to build again a way to the most high through the law of Moses in many ways? But perhaps the greatest is that it looks at Yahweh shy hanging on the cross, taking the punishment we deserved, bearing the wrath of the most high for us and says to him, that's all very nice, but it isn't enough. Your work on the cross won't be good enough before the most high until I'm uh, a salak until I'm circumcised and eat kosher. This is a great insult to the son of the most high. And that's what these people do. You basically saying that what the, the things that the Lord did was not good enough. The things that he went through was not good enough. He went through those things and did those things so we can receive grace, man. So we can be reconciled unto the heavenly father. So we can have a chance at salvation. All right. So you basically spitting in his face saying, I ain't good enough. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. It says, of course, this is the great uh, this is the great tra uh, tragedy of legalism. Right. Which is pretty much, you know, keeping the law and trying to be more right with the most high legalists ending up being less right with the most high. This was exactly the situation of the Pharisees that opposed Yahweh so much during his years of earthly ministry, because they constantly they were stuck on the law, stuck on a tradition, stuck on their rituals, stuck on those things. And, and the Lord like, look, I'm bringing an easier and better way. <laughs> what more do y'all want from me? You know, it says Paul knew this thinking well, having been a Pharisee himself. So it's not like they like, oh, well, you don't know how I feel like. No, he was a Pharisee himself, man. All right. Whew. OK, so I'm, I'm going to read back in 16 and then run it down. So this is Galatians 2 and 16. It says, knowing that a man is not justified by his works of the law, but by faith of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Even we have believed in Yahweh Shai Mashiach that we might be justified by the faith of HaMashiach and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But if... While we seek to be justified by Hamashiach, we ourselves also are found sinners. Is therefore Hamashiach the minister of sin, the most high forbid? Because we, even though we're, we're seeking salvation, we're not perfect. We're not going to get everything right. We're still going to slip. But the scriptures say what? Uh, a, a just man falleth seven times, but get it back up. Okay, but that foolish that fall, fall into mischief. Meaning they continue to go down that, that, that spiral of wickedness, man. All right. 
oh, well, I, I messed up. I might as well go hard in the paint now. Like, no, man, you, you, you talk to the, you know, you pray to the Lord, ask for repentance and, and try not to do that shit again. Don't use it as an excuse to keep doing more wickedness, man. All right. It says, um, it says, for if I build again, the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. Like in that, like it had explained pretty much saying that what the Lord did is not good enough. So I'm, I, I came into this fold. <laughs> I came into this fold to be under grace, but now I'm going to be all about the law. Like, no, you're basically spitting in the Lord's face, man. Making yourself a transgressor because it said, what does the scripture say? If you break one, you break all. So if you want to hang upon the laws, then you know what? You break one, you break all, man. All right. That's what grace is for, man. It says, I am crucified with Hamashiach. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Hamashiach liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the son of the most high who loved me and gave himself for me. So this flesh, it's not like when we came into to, when we came into this thing of ours, all right, that we received a new body, that we received new flesh or that now we, 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 you know, glow in a sense like, no, it's a mindset, man. All right. It comes down to the mindset. That's uh, Romans 12, one and two. All right. Making that sacrifice and, and not. Uh, 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 man, I got to get it, man. I got to get it because I don't want to mess that up at all. This is uh, Romans 12 and, and one. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the most high, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the most high, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. All right. So that's what it is, man. OK. It's not like we receive new flesh. We received a new mind, uh, a mindset through Yahweh by Shem Shai, through that grace, that gift of grace, man. OK, it says, hey, hey, here's the point. I do not frustrate the grace of the most high for if the righteousness come by the law, then Hamashiach is dead in vain. So if you want to put your righteousness upon the uh, being about the law. Then you're basically saying that the Lord, what the Lord did, it was pointless. All right. Or like it has said, it wasn't good enough. Right. But you want to know one thing? You wouldn't get your ass up there and do it. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't get up there and do what the Lord did or endure what the Lord did, man. All right. But he had the guts. He had the he had the power. He had the will to do so for us, <laughs> for us, man. All right. I want to just get that word frustrate uh, right quick. I'm going to get it on, on my uh, my laptop because I turned off my Wi-Fi and all of that because fucking notifications be going crazy sometimes or somebody always end up calling when you want to do a lesson. All right. So it says um, you got the strong G114. It says uh, to do away with, to set aside disregard to throw the if a vacancy of anything which that means to prevent to prevent the results of anything to nullify make void to reject to refuse to slight so you just basic it says i i i'm not going to reject the grace of the most high i'm not going to make void the grace of the most high because what i know that i need it in order to pertain salvation. And this is a better way, a better road to salvation. So why wouldn't I take it? Yeah, you're going to get some scars and bruises and, and bumps. All right. But once you come out on the other side, you can heal. You can be healed, <laughs> you know. But hey, with that, Lord willing, you was edified and exhorted. I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Shalom.